This is my Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Shield that I carry for personal defense. Hello everybody coming at you with all my might. It is my How you guys doing today? It's a beautiful day out. Oh man. Nice day to go riding. I am uh, running on the gas light. 23 miles. I have another 20 to go. But so let's talk about Trump's crazy gun control policies. Not gun control, but gun policies. So first, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. But <clears throat> so ever since uh, Trump has been elected. He's not a president yet, he's been elected, but he has sent out a proposal of what he wants to do. And, alright, come on, move. You can look for your cell phone later. <clears throat> and, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff he wants to do. He wants to um, end gun control, uh, gun-free zones on military bases is one of them. And the other one... Uh, that, that really catch my eye is um, allow the importation of historical weaponry. So there's several others. There was a total of five, but I, I want to go off on um, the gun con gun free zones on military bases. Now I'm going to explain why it's the most it's the stupidest thing ever. And here's why. You have literally all these people on that military base that are military have went through military training. So they fire weapons. They all know how to use weapons. And they're the ones you're going to take the guns away from. Have you noticed all these shootings? All these shootings all happen in un where people are unarmed, schools, military bases, uh, <clears throat> and that in the clubs, like all these places, they don't have weapons, so they don't have weapons. Anybody can go in there and know that nobody there is armed, because m most of the law-abiding citizens, for the most part, follow the laws. So, what makes a criminal a criminal? A person who breaks the laws. Am I right? So you think a criminal is going to be like, oh look, gun free zone, I better leave my gun out. No, that's why they're a criminal. That's what people don't understand. So gun free zones only work for the law abiding citizens. That's the only, that's the only impact it has on anything. So banning guns, banning handguns, is is only going to take guns <clears throat> away from law-abiding citizens. So that's what people really need to realize. They they, they want to throw out gun control all over the place, but they don't realize. I don't. I just don't understand why they don't realize. But that's what they're not getting. We're gonna go right. No, we're just stay here. So that's when they're not getting through their heads. That. The only people that is going to listen is the people that listen to the laws. So, what essentially you're doing is targeting yourself. So, by there, that's why all these shootings happen in those places. Because who in their right mind is going to go into a place where they know everybody has a gun and want to start shooting up people? I'm not going to. You're not going to, I hope. I mean, I mean I don't want to go and shoot people up anyhow. But that's what that's the whole issue. <clears throat> so they roll in there and they can shoot 30 or 40 people before anybody even has time to react because nobody's armed. But if you go in a situation where 
maybe someone is armed it diminishes the chance that someone's gonna do something crazy oh I thought just thought of another thing is he wants to do a nationwide uh, carry concealed carry um, I have a concealed carry permit for the state of Pennsylvania and it does not work in half of the states that border Pennsylvania it'll work in some states that aren't in Pennsylvania, that aren't next to Pennsylvania, which makes no sense because how am I gonna get it to point A to point B? So if I'm riding my motorcycle, I cannot ride to New York and carry my weapon. And I don't like that. So I, I think this will be a good thing, honestly, that uh, a nationwide carry permit They let me out. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. If you already have a concealed carry permit, why shouldn't you be able to carry it across state lines? Makes sense to me. That way, if you do a lot of traveling, like I'm planning on doing, and I do. But <clears throat> so that's one thing I'm excited for, and I really, sh I really think they should do away with the gun-free zones. You know, get. There are military for crying out loud. They should be the least worried about getting shot on their own home turf or at least give them a fighting chance. I have several friends that are in the military and that, that's all they say. It's like, yeah, almost all they could do is, you know, hide in your room. You know, there's a guy with a gun on the loose. And that's not right. That, that's not uh, that's not how it should be. They should at least have a fighting chance. They're all trained with weaponry. So it, it makes no sense to just leave them in the dark. So that's what I'm excited about. And we'll see how it works out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to support modification. <clears throat> also, it, it, just look up Trump's policy on uh, on Google, and the first thing that pops up is anti-gun ads. Like they are literally paying, and their their smallest contribution you can give them it's like gun-free America or something like that. The smallest contribution you can give them is twenty-five dollars. They're literally asking for money to stop guns. Like, so to put more gun control into effect. And uh, that's only hurting the citizens. You know, that's the problem. So, I, I just don't get it. You don't want gun control because gun control means the criminals control the guns and the citizens are left defenseless. So there's how, there's my thoughts. Um, Support Smitification by Shopping Revzilla. If you need motorcycle parts or gear, like these Icon gloves, I got them from Revzilla. Link in the description below. Uh, have a nice day, and don't forget to subscribe. Watch more videos. God bless.